are they really going to do it? That's a question that every single victim of sex extortion asks themselves. The purpose of this video is to help answer that question, as well as provide information and tips on how to deal with sex extortion and blackmail online. The act of sex extortion involves the criminal manipulation of your private images and videos in order to extract a ransom. Images and videos like these are often deeply personal and shouldn't be seen by anyone but you and the person you've sent them to during a passionate moment. The sextortionist knows this and exploits your desire for privacy, using your candidness as a weapon against you in order to get exactly what they want, your money. They say your private photos will be posted online and shared with your family and friends. Your job's going to find out, your church, your school. The sextortionist is going to send these images to everyone and in effect, ruin your life. Or will they? Are they actually going to follow through on these threats? The short answer is that it's a relative unknown. Every criminal is different, but some sex extortionists do. Without knowing the psychological disposition of the criminal in question, it's almost impossible to know exactly what type of personality you're dealing with when the threats are being made. Are they just trying to make a buck at your expense and move on if they no longer see dollar signs? Or are they vindictive and angry, out to burn your entire world to the ground if you don't pay up? You can never really be sure. Here are some things to take into consideration when faced with this scenario. If the sextortionist does follow through with their threats, they lose their leverage against you. If they share your private content, the damage is done. What reason do you have to pay them anymore? It's a hostage situation, and now there's no hostage to bargain over. Furthermore, many sextortionists understand that they may draw the attention of the platforms they post the content on, resulting in deleted accounts and bans from the very platforms that they use to facilitate these crimes. With that said, however, it's not unheard of for a sextortionist to go scorched earth when met with opposition from a victim. This is why it's always recommended that victims seek outside help from professionals who know how to talk to these kinds of criminals. It's important to note that these criminals know that most local law enforcement agencies aren't equipped to deal with their brand of criminality, which is true. Local police just don't have the tools at their disposal to make any sort of real impact on situations like these. They aren't able to obtain the crucial evidence needed to prevent and mediate online extortion and online blackmail. However, help is available. Digital Forensics Corporation, for example, utilizes a unique proprietary system that can not only track the sextortionist's exact location, but can also uncover a great deal of other identifiable information up to and including their actual identity. Using this obtained information, the investigator now has the upper hand when dealing with the unpredictable criminal and can use the data collected to ensure that their client's private and privileged information is never released. Let's talk about what might happen if you decide to do nothing and leave the outcome and your private images in the hands of your sextortionist. The type of action used against you will generally depend on the personal information that they have on you. If they have your entire Facebook friends list, they may begin there. If they have your spouse's email address, they may begin there. Generally speaking, however, if they're determined enough to follow through on their threats, the most common methods for attack are as follows. Direct messaging your social media contacts. More often than not, the sextortionist has had access to the public details shared on your social media profiles. This includes direct access to your family, friends, employer, school, and any organizations or clubs that you may be a part of not to mention other details like your email address, phone number, and other social media handles. The sextortionist will use this direct access to send a private message to these contacts with the embarrassing content. This method is what most victims fear, as it's not pleasant trying to explain these messages to the people who receive them. However, it is not the most damaging way a sextortionist can out you. Posting the content online. If the sextortionist is unable to access your contact list, they may post the content to YouTube, a pornographic website, or a custom website instead. The content is publicly visible and will include your name in the video title or description, as well as any other information that they have on you, such as location, employer, or job title. Any of these actions will cause the video to appear in online search results. That means with a simple Google search of your name, a potential employer, love interest, or friend will be exposed to the private content. The public nature of these images, videos, and harmful descriptions could ruin your personal and professional life. Going to the police. 
Depending on the type of communication, some sex extortionists will accuse you of engaging in sex crimes, most notably receiving child pornography and sexual solicitation of a minor. They'll claim that they were underage and you participated in the exchange with that knowledge. If this were true, it would mean that any sexual content you participated in during your conversation would amount to a very serious crime. They threaten to report your supposed crime to the police or relevant authorities. Of course, the sextortionist will almost never go to the authorities since they don't want to bring attention to their own illegal activities. However, they may incorporate these tactics when sharing with your social media contacts or posting the content online. If you found yourself in a situation where you've fallen victim to the crime of sextortion, you likely feel that you have no power or control over what's happening to you. But you do. You have more control over the situation than it may appear. While it is true that some determined criminals do see their threats through to the very end, with the right help on your side, this embarrassment can be avoided. There are experts available who can help keep you protected. Thank you for watching, and until next time, stay safe out there.